Hello everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we went ahead and did most, if not all, of the Forest Temple. We still have a little bit left to do, but we're almost done for the most part. So let's go ahead and finish this up. Um, coming through here, we can actually get a Skulltula. Pretty positive. Uh, where is that Skulltula? I'm not sure. Uh, I hear it. I know I hear it for sure. Just don't see it. Oh, uh, this is... Where is it? Because I, I know there is a sculpture here. It's... I think it's down there, though. Ugh. Alright. Well, we will find it. I'm just going to give it one more quick look around. See if I can find it. Uh, I probably, I might have some people in the comments that are just like, it's literally right in front of your face and I don't see it. But oh well, we will, um, find that later. I, I will get it. Just not right now. Um, so there are, ugh. Yeah, um, this is a giant falling wall. If you mess up, the wall is going to fall and you're going to get hit by it. Thank you, Navi, for telling me the ceiling is going to fall. And I accidentally paused the game again. But yes. So from that, you can tell, like, which blocks are going to, like, fall and which ones aren't. And you really don't have to worry about it that much. Like, you can... Well, actually, I'm just going to stand right here again. Yeah, after... While it's going up, you can pretty much just run across. I'm not going to get that chest because there's nothing really important inside of it. But now... We are actually going to get the third ghost sister, or post sister. And we, what we need to do is a puzzle. So let's move that out of the way. This isn't a very hard puzzle. Just got to make sure you do it in time. Mess that up. Okay. And then you want to pull this piece right here down. I accidentally messed up again. Alright. We are actually running low on time. I hope I can finish this, because... It would be very inconvenient to not be able to get this puzzle finished. Yeah, I think we're, we're going to get it. I hope. Yeah, we got it. Uh, yep, there we go. It's a perfect fit. And then we push this block inside this puzzle will turn into the third post sister. So let's do what we did last time, basically, and just jump attack. Jump attack three times, that usually takes these post sisters out. Come on, let's go. Two... And then three after this. There we go. Alrighty. Now we can go through this door right here. And we will be at... This door will actually lead us out to the beginning, or like the main room of the dungeon. Well, after this door, of course. And I hope this thing drops a heart. And it did not drop a heart. But now... Like I said before, we're led to the main room. So, we've got three of the ghost sisters, but there's still one left. And I wonder if I can hurt this ghost sister from up here. It's probably not going to do anything. Yeah, it did nothing. Alright, let's see. This is the fourth Poe sister. She kind of plays like a mind game, I guess. You have to find out which one is the real one, and it's pretty easy. You just have to look to see which one is spinning. So, I'm pretty sure it was this one. Yep, it was that one. And then you just gotta do this like three or four times. Not really sure how many it was. It's, I actually think it's four or five times. That's two out of the five. Oh, almost missed, or did miss that. Three out of the five. And then four out of the five. 
And I, uh, blah, blah. Okay, last one. Five out of the five. Come on, let's go. Oh, I almost got tricked for a second. Um, five out of the five. There we go. Let me get some arrows for that. And the last flame is lit, and we can go inside. Or this, yeah, we can go down this little elevator that was removed, or non-functional, from the beginning of the dungeon because the post sister is left from it. That's done now. And now we have to deal with a... S well, I don't really know if you call these switches. Kind of... I don't I don't know what you call it. It's, it's a puzzle, that's for sure, though. And I really don't remember how to do this puzzle at all, but I'm going to do my best. So... Stepping on this switch right here. What does this do? That opens another switch that we have to step on. Fair enough. Now, which switch or which wall did we push last time? I believe it was this one. Let's push that again this direction. And yes, here's that other switch we had to step on. And that's, this actually opens a switch that lets us open another switch. So, a switch that opens a switch that opens, or a, yes, a switch that allows us to hit a switch that allows us to hit another switch. That's basically the rundown of this. Now, I know for a fact that there is a sculptural in here. At least, I think. No, no, no. Yes, there is a sculptural in here. Why is my hookshot not working? Alright, and then we got, that's our what gold sculptula, our 17th gold sculptula. We are making good progress on these gold sculptulas. Um, like I said before, there are a hundred, I think, gold sculptulas, but I'm really not sure if there are a hundred of them. I know, well, I mean, I, I'm really not sure if I want to get all of them is what I'm trying to say. Because you really only need 50 to get all of the, like, rewards besides rupees from the Sculptula house, and I really don't know if I want to get all the rupees if I really don't need to. But, we got all of those, uh, Sculptulas done, and all the switches done. And now, we are ready and able to enter the boss door. And this is the boss of the forest temple. Also, probably my favorite boss in this whole game. Not gonna lie, this is a pretty cool boss. So as you first walk in, nothing happens at all. You see a bunch of creepy paintings. But then, if you try to leave, this happens. It's Ganondorf. Or is it Ganondorf? This is actually Phantom Ganon. Evil Spirit from Beyond, Phantom Ganon. So this is the first adult boss, I guess you could say. Um, not very hard, but it is fun. So what you need to do is when he comes out of the painting... Oh crap, messed that up. Oh, and I got shocked too. That sucks. I'm going to take my fairy and set that on Bright Sea just in case. Alright. And like I was saying before, you wait for him to calm down. And I'm not going to look in his direction this time because I don't want him to hit me. And then we shoot him while he comes out of the painting with his horse. Very straightforward. Not too hard. But there are two stages to this boss fight, so. Alright, two, and then one more time, and that will take care of this stage of the boss fight. So, let's see. One, two, and then three. Alright, now he's going to get off of his horse, and he is going to throw beams at us. Now this is a, uh, this is something that's been done in a lot of Zelda games. 
and usually only with Ganon. Actually, I'm not sure about that. I know it is done with Ganon in multiple Zelda games, though. So what you need to do is hit back the uh, sword, or not sword, um, the uh, little lightning balls he throws at you. And it's kind of like a game of tennis. You kind of have to juggle these back like that, or I kind of failed there, but you see what the point is. And after a while, he'll, uh, or one of the uh, lightning balls will hit him, and then he'll fall down. So let's hit one. Okay. Mess that up. I'm actually going to drink my potion, or let my fairy out now. Just in case. Alright. Let's try not to mess up this time. Oh, that was easy. And then one more time should about do it. Let's wait for him to shoot another one of those electric balls at us again. Oh, I guess not. Gotta do one more, maybe. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just rapidly pressing B, because that seems like the best way to do it. And that's it. You've beaten Phantom Ganon. Or Phantom Ganon. And he blows or explodes into blue flames. Just like uh, Goma did. Hey, kid. He did quite well. It looks like you might be gaining some slight skill. But you have only defeated my Phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. Well, isn't that nice? What a worthless creation that ghost was. I will banish it to the gap between the dimensions. But that was Phantom Ganon. And yeah. First boss as a Dolink. Link. Very fun boss too. And that wraps up the Forest Temple. Except for that, uh, I actually need to go back and get that other Skullshula. But let's end it off. Or end the dungeon off. For now... Chamber of the Sages. Sorry. Thank you. Because of you, I could awaken as a sage. I am Saria, the sage of the Forest Temple. I always believed that you would come, because I know you. No. You don't have to explain it to me. Because it is destiny that you and I can't live in the same world. I will stay here as the Forest Sage and help you. Now, please, take this medallion. And we've got our second medallion. This is the Forest Medallion. It's green. The other one was gold. Now we have a green one. You've received the Forest Medallion. Saria awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. So now we have two out of the six medallions. Saria will always be your friend. And what is this little thing here? Well, that must have been very frightening for Link. Hi there. I'm the Deku Tree, Sprout. Because you and Saria broke the curse on the Forest Temple, I can grow and flourish. Thanks a lot. No problem, Mr. Mini Deku Tree. Hey, have you seen your old friends? None of them recognize you with your grown-up body, did they? That's because the Kokiri never grew up. Even after seven years, they're still kids. You must be wondering why only you have grown up. Well, as you might have already guessed, you are not a Kokiri. You are actually a Hylian. I am happy to finally reveal the secret to you. 
And here's a cutscene. I'm just going to be quiet and let you watch this. You are a Hylian, and were always bound to leave this forest. And now, you have learned your own destiny, so you know what you must do. That's right, you must save the land of Hyrule. Now Link, break the curses on all the temples and return peace to Hyrule. Can do, Mr. Deku Tree. Or Mr. Mini Deku Tree. Alrighty, and he's kind of just repeating everything that we just did. Or what he just said. But, uh, yes, so, this has been another episode of Ocarina of Time, and we will continue on later, but thank you all for watching, and uh, I will see you guys later.